So what's going on Toxic Gamers? There's a lot of drama going on in the gaming scene right now. Put your seatbelts on, hide your kids, hide your wives because we need to talk about what just went down, okay? We need to talk about it because there's a whole lot of drama with the Xbox and PlayStation and apparently GTA 6 is also in the news. Now PlayStation is looking to buy from software and we also got news about GTA 6 as well oh, right now shit. that they are you know getting some mind-blowing PS5 Pro enhancement the exclusivity deal locked down says insider well, we're gonna be talking about all of that like the video if you think that PlayStation and Xbox should get free to play online after you of course have bought the console and after you are paying for your internet right if you think we deserve to play online after we have bought our console and games for free like the video dislike if you think not man there's gotta be playstation plus there's gotta be there's gotta be xbox gold i want to know where you guys at because we need to bring the change we need to bring the change shout out to the homie uh dreamcast guy check this out roll it hey there gamers dreamcast guy here and today we're talking about this very strange acquisition that a bunch of subscribers have sent to me which is that apparently sony is trying to buy from software playstation wants to gobble up everything from elden ring to dark souls to armored core to blood damn blood. you know it's a bad day when the homie did not brought up his special edition god of war controller though <laughs> that's crazy but i wanted to talk about this because the deal is not yeah. quite as clean cut as you think this is yeah, apparently yeah, yeah. actually happening the deals are almost done and uh i don't think this is really about getting more playstation exclusives i think it's about anime but let's talk hi hope you're having a great day and if you could please give this video a like and subscribe if you haven't already now let's this is completely legit multiple sources have chimed in on it and uh, i've seen a lot of playstation people extremely happy about it and i've seen a lot of xbox people uh being very doom and gloom but i want to say yeah, I yeah it, it is always like that right you know xbox always saying uh, phil spencer always saying stay patient uh, to the xbox andes and you know uh now they changed the the, the ceo but you know the sony uh, the ceo of playstation says that hey sony ponies it's gonna be all right you know another remaster coming your way so it's always like that with the sony ponies and the xbox andies okay but let me know what console you guys play on in the comments pc playstation xbox pc in a console second but but you know what i mean right like let Initial, me know where you just first gut reaction i've become very anti-acquisition a lot of these studio buyouts we've seen especially over the course of the last five years have been very bad whether what? it is tencent buying stuff whether it is xbox buying stuff or whether mm. it is playstation making acquisitions i mean mm, just think mm. about it the last two playstation acquisitions have not exactly gone the best there was firewalk that they bought for 250 million dollars <laughs> and now they shut them down and deleted the only <laughs> game they made there's stuff like bungie where they bought them for yeah like Concord, of course. Uh, he means to say Concord because Firewalk was behind Concord. Many people don't are, are not aware, but I guess now you are, right? Yeah, that's the thing, though. Firewalk was behind Concord, and that game, Concord, I'm talking about, that game was in development for eight years. These seconds spent. 400 million dollars they got me they got my my boy looking like this bro they got my boy looking like this man what the hell are we talking about right now what the hell are we talking about and then i want to of course like take time to talk about this as well and then we heard that gta 6 playstation exclusivity deal lockdown says insider which kind of makes sense because sony has a relationship with rockstar vice versa right so these suckers always love to work together it doesn't mean that uh, GTA 6 is gonna be exclusive to PlayStation. It's just that exclusivity deal. We're not sure what it's gonna be Maybe it's gonna be just some early content and apparently just recently. So this was reported recently uh, Thank you for subscribing dreams appreciate it man dream. Okay, so we're not gonna say that word right there, okay? Uh, oh hell no, nah, man. We're not talking about that BBC crap here, okay? GDC uh, uh, GTA 6 <laughs> GTA 6 reportedly getting mind-blowing PS5 Pro enhancement and console bundle yo Oh, mind-blowing PS5 Pro enhancement. Now, of course, like, yeah, 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 you know, Digital Foundry, they have said, which is, of course, not 100% factual, but they are very, very credible. Uh, of course, they, they have a very good channel as well. They always do comparison videos, and they're very knowledgeable. So this was a very knowledgeable take when they said that if GTA 6, and they said that if GTA 6 is 30 FPS on PS5, it's not gonna be 60 FPS on PS5 Pro. There is no way. It's probably gonna be the same. Why? Because of the specs that were leaked at the time, which, and that leak was true. Apparently, the CPU of PlayStation 5 Pro is the same as PS5. So that's why if the game, uh, GTA 6, is uh, 30 FPS on the PS5, 
it's probably gonna be at 30 fps on the ps5 pro too man like what the <laughs> hell man? yo this thing is crazy man gta 6 needs to be 60 fps like the video if you agree uh but but apparently now we're hearing this this is a probably a little older news but it's still like a month old two months old at this point right that they have locked down the exclusivity deal but this is the latest information that it's apparently going to be having a mind-blowing ps5 pro deal uh grand theft auto 6 will use ps5 pro pshr 2.0 version the performance and image quality for open world games will reach a new level in 2020 2025 damn even insomnia games make mention of how useful of tool ai is for the game development within this video and ai has overtaken right and we also had red gaming text that can confirm i've heard and mentioned in a video that sony is going to use gta 6 for heavy marketing of the ps5 pro don't take as confirmation though pinch of salt until it's announced which uh, makes sense because you know they have a relationship and uh, rockstar works with uh previously we we had gta 5 right they they had marketing right the exclusivity marketing rights uh th they gave that to sony so i think it's gonna be the same thing and on top ps5 pro just came out so is it really gonna have like a crazy enhancement only time will tell us but wait for it roll a it. couple billion they did some stuff with it wait but now it. most of the bunch of employees have been mass laid off it doesn't seem like we're ever gonna get a destiny 3 so not all acquisitions are bad but i am definitely in a spot now where when i read this studio being bought i immediately think oh no in fact yeah. the uh -oh. initial thing i've seen here is that everybody is like oh no leave them alone acquisitions will be the death of the industry this is pretty disgusting yeah if this is the only way we're going to get bloodborne 2 i'll take the hit Damn. now i do think that's the part of this is that I think truly in my heart of hearts, this acquisition, if it does go through, can be different for two separate reasons. The first one is that a lot of times when companies get bought, they're usually in pretty rough shape. They're already mm. sellable, so to speak. Yeah, 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 if you're yeah, yeah. able to just say, please, somebody buy us, usually you already have low sales, you're behind on your projected quarter expectations. I, I can think of the Captain BBC situation from Assassin's Creed, right? Like Assassin's Creed, apparently, uh, apparently we're, we're hearing that Ubisoft is on a brink of selling their company, man. We heard that uh, they were looking to sell their company to Tencent, which is absolutely wild uh, to see, right? Because at one point Ubisoft was close, if not more than, they were worth more than 10 billion US dollars. And the last time they went, the last time I checked, they went under 1 billion oh, but then we had the rumor uh, which uh, you know was confirmed by one of the insider that yes they are thinking about looking into selling potentially their company so the rumor was true but of course we're not sure when they're gonna sell and if they're gonna sell but they're thinking about it and that rumor was true and after that news they their their stock recovered a little bit still not nowhere near uh and yeah man it, it, it is crazy and people started saying that well assassin's creed you know yasuke in assassin's creed he's probably the real samurai one of the best samurai i read that comment i'm not making that up i read that comment one guy one gamer toxic gamer if you want to call him that well go for it but one of the gamer in the comment section said that yasuke is probably one of the best uh, samurai of all times because you know he took down the entire ubisoft as a company <laughs> and and i was like bro well that yeah man no diddy like that's facts that's facts and stuff you're already very devalued so you're ready to be bought whereas in the case of from software from all the reports we've seen not only of course is elder yeah. ring selling like 30 million copies not mm. only is from software mm. more successful than they've ever been but mm. from a lot of the reports they're a tiny studio with a dedicated team a very visionary lead of it with miyazaki it seems like if anything this is a studio that if they got bought nothing would change or at least we can hope so over here on Blue Sky, where people have been sending uh -oh. me stuff, I did notice a lot of people saying that, oh man, this is going to lead to some completely different projects. Obviously, these people are memeing, but people are being like, finally, Sony can force From Software to make Bloodborne 2, Monkey Paw Curls, Herman Hulst, which is the president of PlayStation. We're happy to announce a new Horizon Souls-like made by From Software. <laughs> like, it, it is funny to just think about the idea of a Dark Souls live service game. <laughs> uh, really quickly, guys, I want to say if you do have Twitter or X, I would definitely love to have you there. Links are always in the description and in the pinned comment. If you got Instagram, I would love to have you there as well. Uh, links are always in the pinned comment. Right, let's get back to the content here, boo boo. <laughs> Take that back. Oh, my God. So I'm more worried about the anime and the Horizon anime to come. Now, Yo. that's what this is all about. So what? the reason this is what? a slightly different deal, the reason you're seeing people talk about anime a lot is that since this is owned by the parent company, Kurokawa, I never know how to pronounce this, right? 
Kadokawa. So this company's major export. They are actually a big, big distributor of anime of manga, and they make so much they bought from software years and years ago for dirt cheap. So this is just part of their portfolio. So buying that anime company means that they're going to get access to that. They're going to get an even bigger monopoly on the anime business, and they're just, as an added bonus, going to own from software. Now, I do find uh -huh. it interesting. Literally everybody is saying, please, no, please, awful. <laughs> it's finally time to get Demon Souls 2. <laughs> Bloodborne and Demon's Souls remake, heck yet. They will probably remaster Demon's Souls once again for the PS5 Pro, man. They're, that's what they're probably, that's what this thing is gonna do, man. Now, let's explain the numbers of this. Let me talk about how this actually breaks down. So, Kadawakawa owns 70% of From Software. Sony already owns 14% of From Software. So, okay. if this deal goes through, they'll own 84% of From Soft. Oh, dang. That's a pretty sizable chunk. Shit. That's more than just negotiating numbers. That's an actual monopoly. So, you can now say, hey, I want you to make this. Hey, I want you to pour this hey i want to make sure that elden ring 2 is properly optimized for the playstation 5 pro but there we go. it there is we interesting go. that the katawakawa angle of this is really really different because right now sony owns crunchyroll and funimation which got merged with it a lot of people yeah, are actually yeah, yeah. saying hey it's cool to see their stock is going up i'm sure everybody's happy a lot of sony fanboys are kind of cheering this on but this is really bad from the anime perspective. Look at this. This is a very rude uh, tweet, but I think it actually sums this up pretty decent. I uh, de rude means toxic, problematic, menace to society. Yeah, you know that. That's what it means. That's what it means. Ads don't want Sony to buy Kadokawa, but listen, I know you're the biggest PlayStation simp from the pro <laughs> owner of the, from one pro owner to another. This would make Sony Crunch and Roll even more the only place to legally stream anime in the West oh, that man. genuinely can't be good. Okay, now brother speaking, brother spinning, brother spinning. But he said, "What he said? What did he say?" But you, I know you're the, one of the, you're the biggest. Not even one of the. Damn, man, I, I was like adding one of the. But he said that now nah, you're the biggest PlayStation, biggest, okay, <laughs> biggest PlayStation simp. But from one pro owner to another. So brother bought the PS5 Pro, man. <gasps> Yeah, brother, brother bought the PS5 Pro. How many of you guys bought the PS5 Pro? I want to know. What in the comments if you bought the PS5 Pro too, if you if you have not? And if you have bought it, l l let me know if you're noticing like a difference between PS5 and PS5 Pro. In terms of like frame rate, graphics. If it's like minor difference, I mentioned that. I want to know like if it's, if it's worth it. Is it worth it right now? Maybe it's going to be worth it. And you know what? I'm waiting till GTA 6 releases because if, if it turns out that GTA 6 is really like, uh, we, we see a difference, right? If we really see a difference, like we're hearing, it's going to have a mind blowing PS5 Pro enhancement. I guess it's safe to say that GTA 6 is going to look one of, the, it's going to be one of the best game, graphically speaking. And hopefully gameplay wise, it's going to be one of the best game. I mean, it certainly is the most anticipated game of all time right now. But if it turns out that it's looking amazing on PS5, normal ps5 and xbox series x but it's mind-blowing on the ps5 pro where we see a noticeable difference on ps5 pro then yes then it would make sense to have ps5 pro and, and to be honest though like if you if you're somebody that's also waiting just like me to buy ps5 pro next year probably we might see a reduced price maybe by like 50 bucks uh, I don't see them reducing the price too much though, or perhaps if you get it like used uh, next year, maybe from Facebook Marketplace or eBay or like some other websites, then yeah, maybe you can get it like $200 cheaper, maybe $100 cheaper. Uh, time will tell us for sure, but also you gotta factor in if you already have PS5, then it's good to sell that fast because the more you wait i guess uh, the more it's gonna depreciate and you're not gonna get as much money right but you know the, it, this does not apply to the homie dreamcast guy because you know if you if you are if you were around in the last video when we covered the homie dreamcast guy true story by the way true story he claimed that he sold his normal ps5 to his girlfriend for five hundred dollars <laughs> Now, I know most of you guys are probably, you probably got it, right? You're probably looking like this, you're probably under, uh, you probably understood what I just said. But if you're someone that's like brand new that, like, hey, because I, I, I don't know, man, I don't know what, what, oh, what's the, what's the catch here? What's the, he sold it to his girlfriend for $500. I, I don't get it. If you don't get it, guys, listen, man, I'm gonna help you out. PS5 came out all the way back in 2020, so almost five years ago okay almost uh four years four years my bad my bad Bruh. four years ago i had 2025 in my mind right four years ago so ps5 came out four years ago and when it first came out it was also 
costing everybody, everybody, $500. So it came out four years ago for 500 US dollars and the homie sold his PS5 to his girlfriend for 500. <laughs> now you get it. Now you're, now you're also looking like this, right? Now you're also looking like all of us. Welcome to the club. Welcome to the club. That's what I be. That's what I be talking about, guys. It's some Delulu stuff. No Diddy. No Diddy, man. Uh, Delulu stuff, man. Delulu stuff. But I, I'm, I'm, it's just an observation, man. No criticism. I'm not criticizing the homie. I mean, listen, man. He sold for full price to his girlfriend. Man is a G. I gotta salute to the <laughs> I gotta salute to the homie man. I listen man, I'm not even hating though. I ain't even hating. I'm not even complaining. I'm just like trying to bring this up to your attention because you need to do better as well. I need to do better as well. Could you imagine selling your console four years later for the same price? I couldn't even imagine that. But he's making me imagine it. You feel what I'm saying? That's the sauce. That's where it's at, guys. You always listen, man. He's my mentor right now. He's my mentor. Bruh. He's my teacher. I'm learning from the best. I'm gonna try and find somebody who I can sell my PS5 to for 600 US dollars, let's just say, okay? How about that? Like the video so I succeed in my quest. Like, I don't talk about it very much, but... And if you drop a video, I will like your video as well in return, alright? Uh, and, and so I can just like, you know, help help a brother out, maybe, you know, send like good karma so maybe one day you can also sell your PS5 for 600 maybe even $700, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. I do like anime. I don't watch a ton of it, but the ones okay. I do watch, I usually, whatever wins the most awards, and a lot of times when a series gets done, I do love binging it. But it does suck when I'm trying to watch something, whether it is, I don't know, the Cowboy Bebop movie, or Dirty Pair, or random old school animes, a lot of them just don't exist. You can't yeah, buy a yeah, physical yeah. DVD of it, you can't buy a Blu-ray of it, you can't stream it, mm. it has to be bootlegs. And it mm. is because a lot of times, companies like Sony own a huge chunk of the entire market. So if they don't mm. want to keep the licensing rights, they just disappear. And I do think that is something to be more concerned about. But people are talking uh -oh. about the fact that this buyout is being made possible because the founding family is all gone from leadership. Going back to the business side of this, though, is more about how this acquisition is probably legit. So. In Japan, if you're trying to buy a family-owned business, it's very difficult because it all has to be approved. You can't really do forceful takeovers as easily as the way you can here in the West. It has to be approved by multiple rungs. And so they're basically saying, okay, the founding family of Kadawakawa is all gone from leadership now. So the usual family legacy blocker for the takeover just isn't there. It's pretty obvious this deal is going to go through. But this is the other part of it that to me is kind of wild. This is not the only studio that Kadawako owns. They own From Software, that's great. Acquire, which is Tenchu, Way of the Samurai, Octopath Traveler, Mario and Luigi Brotherhood, Gotcha Gotcha Games, which is RG RPG Maker, yeah. and Spike Chunshoft, which is uh, Dragon Quest, Danganronpa, AI, the Somni Files. So a lot of these are actually, uh, uh, these ones here, these two middle ones are like uh, more of detective visual novel games, but Dragon Ball Budokai games. So it does make me think that Obviously, a Wait, lot. What? Dragon Ball Bundaka game? What? The, no, Budaka. Okay, my bad. Of these games, Octopath Traveler. Yeah. A lot of this stuff here is stuff they've made for other companies. These are people who have helped make stuff for Square Enix and stuff like that. It is interesting to think about the idea that Sony would get access to a bigger set of devs. I mean, that's mm. kind of my mind. Is that yeah. if they actually mm. do this buyout, will they keep these studios doing what they're doing? I think this is going to be Probably. about. Honestly, I, I tell you, I, honest, yeah, honestly, honestly, more than anything else, the anime acquisition. But if they keep letting these studios finish their current projects or keep working with their current deals, it would be weird because technically, if they made like another Octopath Traveler that was Nintendo Switch exclusive, like the first one was for a long time, it would be funny to think about the idea of playing a Nintendo Switch game like Mario and Luigi Brotherhood and a Sony logo appears. Yeah, right. I, I, I don't know about that one. But to be fair, though, uh, I think ever since uh, Xbox has bought well, Microsoft has acquired X, uh, uh, Microsoft has acquired Activision and they're still keeping Call of Duty on all the platforms and and also bring in on Nintendo. I, I think Sony is also probably going to want to do similar stuff, right? Of course, it doesn't mean that they're going to be doing that all the time. They still believe in exclusives. And yes, uh, I mean, console exclusives, I'm, I'm talking about first party titles right 
it's a big deal it is a big deal in terms of uh, selling the system right because if you if everything is everywhere then you're gonna go with simply what, what you're comfort comfortable with and what you're uh, and, and what you like right which uh, which is good it's a good thing right for example recently we heard that halo and this is I, I know like a year ago two years ago these were rumors I'm not even talking about that I'm talking about latest news so this is latest and this has been confirmed right now it's confirmed by xbox themselves that halo starfield and all of the xbox titles are going to be coming to playstation yeah I, and a couple of months ago when we had these leaks once again they they mentioned they they said that they're going to only bring four games and there was so much drama around that time right now there is still drama about it and uh you know i'm i'm, I'm seeing like some F xbox fans uh saying that hey they don't want that which i mean hey that that's their opinion that's their opinion which is understandable but but i'm not seeing the drama on the like so uh, what it was like a couple of months ago when the rumors were coming out that yes, you know, all the Xbox games exclu are exclusives are uh, Halo, Starfield are gonna be coming on PlayStation. The drama was crazy, man. The drama was crazy. But after that, you know, uh, uh, Phil Spencer done an emergency podcast and on the podcast he said that only, only four games are gonna be coming on PlayStation and he kind of like softened the blow a little bit. But now it is confirmed that all the xbox exclusives are gonna be coming on playstation i'm assuming they're probably not gonna drop it day one though it's more it's mostly gonna be a similar thing to playstation for example how playstation is dropping god of war spider-man right on pc uh and they never done that before now they're doing it because they realize the power of money my friend they gotta make the money man they gotta make the money bro same applies to xbox xbox needs to make more money than playstation because playstation sales are double more than double so they're realizing hey man if you want to make the money we gotta drop it on playstation so far i think i think this is just me assuming i, I believe that they're probably gonna drop the xbox exclusives not day one but like maybe six months later a year later some something like that if they drop xbox exclusives day one on xbox and pc and playstation then yeah i i would understand like the frustration from xbox players right like i, I at that point i mean there wouldn't be any reason to buy xbox uh, right now the current reason is game pass but you can technically get it on pc and you can get all the xbox exclusives day one on pc so you know there is no like big reason to get xbox the only major reason to get playstation right now is about like the it is about the first uh, party exclusives that they got going on and if it turns out that gta 6 is really getting marked deals maybe a little bit of exclusive content which i don't think it will but if it also turns out that it's gonna have that mind blowing ps5 pro enhancement then yeah ps5 pro is probably gonna be the the main console to have at that point because the game is not coming out uh, for the near future at least in the near future on the pc right uh, i want to know your thoughts and recently we had one of this check out this video on the screen we had this gameplay that got out there and, and a lot of people are believing that this is gta 6 when it's not it's a game similar to gta 6 and it's like blowing up right now but apparently it's a scam you want to know what game that is check out this video on the screen so you also don't get scammed because they are charging people money man check it out and i'll see you right there